Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about taming a dung beetle here in Ark Survival Ascended. Now, dung beetles can be found in caves here on the island, and so for that reason, I have a Baryonyx with me. It is one of the best creatures that you can get for caves, and so for that, we're going to be using the Baryonyx to go into the cave because we do need to go fairly deep. And uh, to tame it, its preferred food is the... Uh, feces from animals. I'm going to be using a ghillie suit as you can see right here. It does help us stay concealed for a bit longer so we can get close to it. And I've got loads of large animal feces and it is a passive tame. So for that, we're going to have to put it in our zero slot, walk up to the dung beetle and feed it the feces. Now, very important is once you've tamed it, it will actually eat spoiled meat. This is where I'm currently located on the map. This is one of the easier caves to do. So it's right here. You can see the coordinates just down there at the bottom of the map. And without any further ado, let's go into the cave, find a dung beetle and tame it. And then I can show you why you want to get a dung beetle. I'm just making sure I've got plenty of food on the Baryonyx. And in we go. Right, so once you come across creatures, have a look at what you've got. I can see three dung beetles, so I'm just going to kite all of these things slightly further back. We don't want to accidentally hit a dung beetle, because if we do that, what will happen is we will aggro all of the dung beetles, in which case we will end up having to kill them, because, hey, that's what they do when they get hit. So, I've cleared the area out. Let me just have a quick look with the spyglass to see what we've got. Two level 20s and a level 45. I'm going to go for the higher levels, and uh, so that means I'm going to take the level 45. With that said, let's put the feces in my zero slot. I'm going to walk up close to it, and then when prompted, I will feed it the large animal feces. Now, on my server, I have the taming rates increased, so it has basically tamed with just one feed. With that said, you can pick it up, then get on your Baryonyx and just ride out with the Dung Beetle in your hands. And uh, once I get out, I'm going to show you what you can do with these and why you want these creatures. So, what is the Beetle good for? Well, he basically has now gained an ability where it basically actively gathers poop from around your base. And over time, it will convert the poop into two main resources. One will be fertilizer, which you need for your greenhouses. And the other one will be, of course, the oil, which is a resource used in many other things. Uh, so, what I do is I normally set it to uh, wander, then put it in a cage and that prevents it from derping out going through foundations and stuff like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop the extra feces that i've got and as you can see it's already picked it up it does have a decent range on the feces that i can pick up so it's definitely worth having one of these now i would place it in the center of your creatures just so it gathers more poop because it can actually carry more poop than its carry weight and i would also level up just its carry weight uh, of course the cage you can unlock at level 12 it's very cheap to make and so definitely worth having these it prevents like as i said uh your dung beetle from derping out uh definitely one of the best creatures and uh you makes life so much easier with regards to getting oil let me just show you with one that's been here for a while as you can see i've got loads of fertilizer and oil and that's pretty much it with regards to getting a dung beetle generally speaking about three of these dudes will keep you topped up on oil for quite a long time you will have so much fertilizer that you will end up throwing it away that is pretty much it for now folks i hope you have enjoyed and found it useful and informative if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button share comment and subscribe and until next time stay safe folks